And now to new information on a hostage situation that unfolded at a synagogue yesterday in North Texas. All four hostages were able to make it out unharmed, and the FBI is running a deeper investigation into the hostage taker. Here's ABC's Christine Sloan with more. A dramatic scene now over in North Texas. A hostage situation at the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in a suburb outside of Fort Worth coming to an end late Saturday. Sometime around 9 p.m. today, uh, this evening, the HRT, the hostage rescue team, breached the synagogue. Uh, they rescued the three hostages, and uh, the, the subject is deceased. After 10 hours, a massive response from the FBI, SWAT teams, and several local police departments. So today's, uh, today's result, which was four safe hostages and the situation resolved, was really, uh, was really a result of, of a, a long, long day of hard work by nearly 200 law enforcement officers from across this region, uh, the FBI, ATF, HSI and Texas DPS. Sources familiar with the investigation tell ABC News an armed man took four people hostage, including a rabbi. The rabbi is a personal friend of mine. Um, he's a he's a close uh, friend of mine and uh, and so obviously it's very personal um, as he was uh, it's been put out on on the in the media that he was one of the uh, hostages sources also tell ABC News the suspect demanded the release of a known Pakistani terrorist Afia Siddiqui who was serving 86 years at Carswell Air Force Base near Fort Worth she had alleged ties to Al Qaeda and was convicted in 2010 of attempted murder of US soldiers and FBI FBI agents in Afghanistan. The White House and Department of Homeland Security were briefed on the situation throughout the day. The FBI says the investigation is ongoing. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.